In this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about bone conduction hearing aids, coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, consider hitting the subscribe button. Over 90% of individuals with a hearing loss will require the use of a traditional hearing aid as their best and only treatment option. But this still leaves 10% of individuals who may not receive benefit from a traditional hearing aid. Fortunately, for individuals with a conductive hearing loss, mixed hearing loss, or a case of single-sided deafness, these individuals can use a bone conduction device. But before we talk about this option, it's really important to understand how we hear. First, sound enters your outer ear through the ear canal and vibrates your eardrum. This vibration is transferred through your middle ear by the three middle ear bones. This vibration then enters the inner ear, which contains your cochlea. Inside of your cochlea, you have a number of structures including three fluid-filled chambers, a basilar membrane, outer hair cells, and inner hair cells. The cochlea converts this vibration into an electrical impulse with the help of the outer and inner hair cells. This signal is then sent up the auditory nerve to the brain where the auditory cortex can interpret the sound, causing you to hear. There are three different types of hearing loss that can occur in the hearing system. First is a sensory neural hearing loss. This is usually due to damage inside of the cochlea involving the inner and outer hair cells. If there's enough damage to one of your ears, you could be left with a case of single-sided deafness. Second is a conductive hearing loss. This is due to either the outer ear or middle ear having a problem with the transferring of sound to the cochlea. Third is a mixed hearing loss, which is simply a combination of a conductive hearing loss and a sensory neural hearing loss in the same ear at the same time. If you want to learn more about these three different types of hearing loss, I will go ahead and link my other video in the card up here and in the description below. But for now, let's get into bone conduction hearing. So if we put a bone conduction device on the skull and vibrate the skull, that fluid-filled chamber and basilar membrane will sense this vibration and everything will work as if we just completely bypass the outer ear and middle ear altogether. This is why if you have a conductive hearing loss, bone conduction hearing is such a good option because we can completely bypass whatever the problem is in the outer ear and middle ear. In the case of single-sided deafness, you can put a bone conduction device on your bad side. It will then pick up sound from that side, vibrate your skull, which will then stimulate your better hearing ear. This overcomes the head shadow effect, which is something that occurs when sound has to travel around your head to get to the opposite ear. For single-sided deafness, you also have the option of using cross or bi-cross depending on the level of hearing in your better hearing ear. And I also have a video about that that I'll link in the card up here and then the description below as well. In the case of mixed hearing loss, you can still use a bone conduction device to overcome the conductive component of that hearing loss. And as long as you get the vibration to be strong enough, you can stimulate the inner ear organ or the cochlea enough to where it gives you better hearing. Now there are four different ways that bone conduction devices can be implemented. The first one is with an abutment or a post that is surgically placed into your skull. After it's had time to heal up and osseointegrate into your skull, you can actually snap on a bone anchored hearing aid and that hearing aid will then transfer that vibration very nicely into your skull so it can transfer it into your cochlea. The second way to use a bone conduction hearing device is to actually have a magnet implanted into your skull and then your bone anchored hearing aid will also have a magnet attached to it so you can just attach it over your scalp and when you don't want to use it you can take it off and you don't have any post actually sticking out of your head. The third way to use a bone conduction device is to actually use a headband. This is typically reserved for children and they're generally pretty uncomfortable because you have to wear them really tight in order to keep the bone conduction device pressed hard enough up against your head. The fourth way to use a bone conduction hearing aid is to use an adhesive pad that you would actually stick behind your ear on your mastoid bone. You then snap the bone conduction device onto that adhesive pad and it transfers that sound through your skull to your cochlea. It generally works about as effective as a soft band, but unfortunately this adhesive method is not available in the United States at the time of this recording. As you can see, not every type of hearing loss requires the use of a traditional hearing aid. And I often say that there is a treatment option for every type of hearing loss. We just have to spend the time to find out which treatment option is right for you. 
That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.